This video will talk about exponential functions in an introduction. If we look at our definitions, exponential function can be written in f of x is equal to a times b to the x, where b, it says down here, it's our base on the exponent of x, which is an unknown. a and b are both real numbers. a can't be 0, because 0 times anything would just be a function of 0, and that's not going to be an exponential. And b has to be greater than 0, and it can't be equal to 1. So we want to look at this f of x is equal to 3 times 2 to the x. And over here on my calculator, I actually have put that in, and I'm looking at the table. We want to look for some patterns. So let's look at the x. We can see that the pattern is that it's increasing by 1. And then we want to look at the y's, and we can see the pattern happening there. We might be doubling, because if you double 7.5, you get to 1.5, and double that, you get 3, double that, you get 6. So it looks like we are doubling, or we could also say that we're multiplying by 2 to get from one y to the next. Let's look at another example. Now we want to look at this function and see if we can see the patterns that happen here. So we need to clear this one out and put in 6, and then in parentheses, I'm just going to put 0.5 for that 1 half. Close the parentheses, caret x, and then go look at my table again. And this time, again, let's look at x and see what's happening. x is, again, increasing by 1. And if I look at the y, now my y values are getting smaller, and it looks like they're getting smaller by half. They're decreasing by one half. Let's see if we can make some sense then out of those patterns that we just looked at. This means that the coefficient of a, if we were to go back and look at those, the coefficient, let's look at this one that over here that we already have in here. The coefficient was 6, and if I look back at my table, 0, 6 was a point on my graph. So a tells us the y-intercept. When x is 0, we know what the y-intercept is. And b tells us how the function changes. Now this particular one, b was 1 half. So that would be this case down here in red, where b is greater than 0 but less than 1. Our function was decreasing. And in the other case, when we had 3 times 2, remember we were multiplying by 2 and our numbers kept getting bigger, so it increases when b is greater than 1. So let's find an exponential function now and go the other way. Let's look at a table and see if we can find the exponential function. So let's answer these questions to see if that will help us. How is the input of x changing? Well, it's changing by 1. Increase by 1. How are the y values changing? Well, it looks like from 20 to 60, I might have multiplied by 3. And 60 times 3 would be 180. So we're multiplying by 3. How much did we start with? Remember, that's when x equals 0. And when x equals 0, we started with 20. So that means that my 20 is my a, and the 3 is my b. As long as x is increasing by 1, I should just be able to write this function as f of x is equal to a, which is 20, times b, which is 3, to the x. Our last example here, then, we're going to look at what happens when x doesn't change by 1. If you look at this, we're adding 3 each time to get from 1x to the next. So x is increasing by 3. And the y's are decreasing. We are going from 3,200 to 800. It looks like we divided by 4. And 80, 100 divided by 4 would be 200. And 200 divided by 4 would be 50. And so on. That's a divide. We could say that we divide by 1 fourth, or the same thing is also multiplying by 1 over 4. Same thing as dividing by 4. Now, how much did we start with? Remember, x is 0. So when x is 0, we say that we started with 3,200. So 3,200 is our a. 1 fourth is also our b. But we've got a little bit of problem here, because if I were to put that in my calculator and then double check my table to see if I did it right, 
Right now it feels like I should be able to say 3200 is my a times 0.25 which is 1 fourth. But if I do caret x, let's set up my table to do what I want it to do. So second window and I want it to start at 0 and x is changing by 3 in that table so I want my table to change by 3 to confirm. And I do start at 3200 but the way I had it written when it's 3 it should be 50 not 800. So it's really 3200 and it is 0.25 but the exponent it doesn't happen every one that would be x but since it happens every three it's every third or x divided by three. So if we come back in here and fix, fix our exponent and I need to put it in parentheses since it's a fraction. Oh, parentheses and then x divided by three close the parentheses. Now if I look at that table that's going every 3, 3200, 800, 250, just like I expected it to be. So when it doesn't happen every 1, then you're going to have to divide by how often it does happen.